Hello everyone, good day. In this video, we are going to see the demo on how to do backup and restore the ETCD database. If you like this video, please subscribe to vSpark channel and click the bell icon for the latest updates. This is the agenda of this video. We are going to perform these steps in this video. ETCD Backup and Restore This is the exact architecture of our existing setup. Here we can see we are running a 3 node cluster with 1 master and 2 worker nodes. We are also running a deployment with 2 replicas. We have the control plane components running in the master node of which ETCD is one among them. ETCD is a key value store database and it is the only component that stores clusters data in a persistent manner. ETCD will store the cluster data persistently in a volume directory called var lib etcd. This volume directory is mounted into the etcd pods file system directly. This type of using a base OS directory as a volume within the pod or container is called as host path volumes. Now let us see how to do a backup and restore the etcd database. Step number one, connect to the EKS cluster and check the etcd version. Just to save the time, we have consolidated all the commands in a notepad and the same is available in the video description. This is our master node from where we have connected to the Kubernetes cluster. kubectl cluster info command gives the details of your cluster. Check the status of your nodes. Our cluster is running with one master and two worker nodes. Now check the control plane components. We can see all the control plane components are running. Now check the etcd version. Here we can see that we are running the etcd with version number 3.5. We are going to download the etcd tools with this version only. Step number 2. Download and install etcd ctl tool. The download links are available in the video description. From this page, we need to download the etcd packages, especially 3.5 version because our cluster is running with etcd version 3.5. These are the steps we need to follow to download the executable binaries. We already customized these steps as a straightforward commands. ETCD downloads are available as a bundled package only. So when we download, it will download everything related to ETCD. Just download the binaries using curl command, extract the same and make it executable by copying the ETCD CTL tool to user local bin directory. Now we can see the package is downloaded to temp path. Now it's time to extract the same using tar command. Now from that bundled package, we just need the etcd tool. Just copy the etcd ctl tool to user local bin directory. 
now the etcd ctl tool becomes executable step number 3 take the backup snapshot from etcd database using etcd ctl tool Detailed steps on how to backup the etcd clusters are available in the official Kubernetes documentation. While using the etcd ctl tool, we need to mention the API version of it and the API version should be 3. To connect to the etcd database securely, we need to mention the TLS certificates with which etcd is operating. Just we are using one more session to the master node to make this task a bit more easier. If we check the etcd pod, we will get to know the TLS certificates that it is using. We need to specify these certificates in the etcd ctl command for the authentication. Along with this, just check the etcd data path where the cluster's data is stored, which is where lib etcd. We can check the TLS certificates in this particular path. Now let us execute the command and save the snapshot as snapshot.db. ETCD's connecting point is a loopback IP as the ETCD cluster is running within the master node. Now the snapshot is stored successfully which means the existing cluster data is saved persistently. Step number 4. Delete the deployments or the parts in the cluster. Let us now delete the deployments. Now the deployment is deleted and don't worry, the cluster data is already backed up in the snapshots. There is no resources in the default namespace. Step number 5. Create a new etcd volume directory and restore the snapshot. Create a new directory in the node called var lib etcd backup and restore the snapshot in that directory. Here we are creating a new directory called var lib etcd dash backup. Now we are going to restore the already taken backup in the newly created directory. Ensure that we are using the new directory in the restore command. Now the snapshot is restored but the restored data is not used by the etcd pod yet. To do that, update the etcd yaml manifest which we will do it in the next step. Step number 6. Update the etcd static pod definition to use the new etcd volume. Once we update, etcd pod will be restarted to use the new etcd volume. Usually, the control plane components will be running as a static pods. Static pod definitions will be available under etc Kubernetes manifest path. Just update the etcd.yaml definition 
to use var lib etcd dash backup as its new data volume. Once we update and save this file, there will be a 1 to 2 minutes downtime as the etcd pod will be restarted. We will resume once the cluster is up and running. Welcome back. Now the cluster is up and running. Step number 7. Inspect the cluster after the etcd backup restoration. Inspect the cluster data present in the snapshot would have been restored. Yeah, we can see all the data is restored back including our deployments. Well, that's it for this lecture. Thank you from vSparks and thank you for watching this video.